Well, the turquoise turtle in downtown Little Falls is a place where mind, body, and spirit all come together. For this week's Community Spotlight, Sarah Winkleman shows us what this wellness center is all about. Staying healthy and being pain-free are two very important things for Amy, the owner of the turquoise turtle. Pain is a, a big part of my business, and um, so it's very draining for the person in pain. And, um, and so if we can try to get that alleviated and get them active and or staying active, it's crucial. The Wellness Center offers a wide variety of services and classes to help people not only understand how to maintain good health, but also to show them how to put it into practice. We can offer um, self techniques that they can do to re reduce that stress and anxiety, improve their health. The office used to be located in Piers, but Amy felt there was a greater need in Little Falls. The location moved downtown in January and is already seeing much growth, in part thanks to their unique name. Turquoise is a stone that promotes health and wellness, and then turtle represents um, the earth or mother earth symbol. With each new moon, drums can be heard in the turquoise turtle, with those in a circle drumming away negative thoughts and drumming in positive change. I, I try to make all the um, drum circles possible, and there's a healing trade that happens for energy workers, which is really just amazingly valuable to be able to practice with each other. Friendships are formed, music is played, and stress has disappeared, thanks to the full moon drum circle. I have a true passion about drumming. Uh, it it uh, feeds your soul, your spirit. Uh, it's a little hippie, it's a little spiritual, you know, it, it builds community. As the business continues to grow, they are open to feedback on classes they offer or new ones they might be able to provide. For this week's Community Spotlight, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.